Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about how to easily install Android apps in Windows 11 in 2023. I know that I haven't made a video about Android apps or the Windows subsystem for Android in quite a long time. So that is mainly because Microsoft didn't release any major new features or any major new updates to the Windows subsystem for Android. But there are some third party tools that can help us install Android apps in Windows 11 that have received updates. And I think that is pretty useful to use them if we need to to install Android apps in our Windows 11 operating system. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. Of course, if you enjoy videos about Android apps, I'm gonna make an updated video about how to install the Google Play Store in Windows 11 in 2023. If you're interested about that, let me know in the comments below. Now to install Android apps in Windows 11, of course, you need the Windows subsystem for Android. I'm not gonna show you how to install that in this video, but I'm gonna link you an article below from my website in which I show you step by step how to install the Windows system for Android in any region and on any Windows 11 version because it is really simple you just need to follow a few steps in settings and also your operating system and then you should be good to go in order to install the Windows system for Android. Once installed you should have it in your search box if you find it here you should be good to go if you have it make sure to open it and change a few settings you're gonna have to open it as you can see we have the new Windows system for Android interface go into these three lines, go into the developer section and make sure you enable the developer mode because you'll need to have the developer mode enabled in order to install APK files. In this video, we're going to talk about a third party tool that can help us install APK files really easily. And you may be wondering why do we need a third party tool if we have the Windows system for Android? Well, the WSA is the baseline for installing Android apps and to install APK files, the process is pretty difficult without a third party tool. You'll need to run a few commands, change a few settings, change a few files inside some APK files and also ADB. So the process is pretty difficult, but with the help of an app such as WSA tools, we can do that really easily. I'm going to leave in the description below the download link for WSA tools. Of course, you can download it from that link or you can just directly search into the Microsoft Store WSA tools and you should find this app. WSA tools is an app created by Simone Franco and a big shout out to him for developing this app. We've talked about this app before but this app received quite a lot of updates and it now supports APK bundles and also has support for ARM64 PCs and I think that is pretty nice. It also has a new backup slash restore WSA function, which will basically help you create a backup and restore a created backup after you've done it. Also to install an Android app, you're going to need an APK file. I'm not going to show you where to get your APK files. You have a lot of websites that provide APK files on Google. You can just search for it and just make sure to install it from a secure location. Before installing the app, also go into the settings section of the app and make sure that the ADB port that you have here is the same one with the ADB port that you have into the developer settings. After the colon, as you can see, 5852 six it is correct and now we should be good to go click on install an apk it's going to say that adb is missing we're going to install it because this app can also install adb for us just select a folder where you want that adb adb to be installed for example i have a folder here i'm going to install it here in the documents section of windows make sure to install it into a directory that doesn't require administrative privileges click on install adb here and then we're just going to have to select our apk file for example i got the apk file for instagram if i'm not mistaken i'm going to click on load apk as you can see the app is automatically detecting the name of the app the version and also the size click on install and the installation of the app should be successful as you can see application installed successfully open app or install another app so let's just open it and see if it works as you can see it works correctly this is i think instagram beta or instagram Lite. i'm not sure but as you can see the app is working successfully it is also pretty responsive and i think that is very very nice so this is how easily you can install Android apps in Windows 11. Just as a reminder, the full process, you need to install the Windows subsystem for Android using the article that I'm going to link you below in the video description. Just change a few settings inside the Windows subsystem for Android. Make sure you have the same ADB port inside WSA and WSA tools and just get your APK file to install your Android app. I think the process is really simple. And if you're asking, well, the process is not that simple, just watch a previous video that I've done in which I install an Android app without a third party tool like 
WSA tools and you're going to see that the process is way more difficult. You're going to have to run commands. You're going to have to change ports, change files. It's way more difficult without the help of a third party tool like that. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.